Our protest in HNLU started on the 27th August 2018. It has been six days continuously that our protest has been on and, it, and we are running into the 144th hour of our protest. We had been agitating so far with the true concept of demarcating all these undemocratic practices done by the faculty who hold the administrative position so far. When the High Court judgment came on 27th August, who disentitled our former VC from his position, we got the we got the path. We decided that we will agitate. What we now seek to do is speak out against the rampant corruption, the discrimination, the casteist remarks that are witnessed day in and day out in our campus. We have to protest and sit out all night just for the basic fundamental right of having access to our campus. We demand that there should be a disentitlement of all the faculties from their administrative positions. There are three major people who have been enjoying this. First, the examination controller who also is the first appellate authority. So if we go with any RTI or any complaint, it reaches this same person who is also enjoying various further powers parallelly and thus we have no resort at all. He is also a faculty so whenever he has to give, give show their mid answer scripts or attendances, he does not follow those rules. He is an examination controller but does not abide by it. Same, same, uh, same as there is a warden who is also the faculty and is also scaring us with the academic curriculum. Our demands also include redressal of sexual harassment complaints against the faculty submitted by the students. This includes not only remarks made towards the students in sexual undertones, but also inappropriate and untoward comments made by the faculty in public or in private about our bodies, about our clothing. Blatant violation of various guidelines have been there for the past seven years, and it's not just these five batches which are suffering. It has uh, the suffering has gone prolonged for across batches, and more than ten batches have been involved in this. Our example is not unique in any way. This example of corruption, of maladministration in higher education universities is being witnessed across the nation. What we need to do as a student fraternity is speak out against this. What we need to do is organize ourselves and speak out against oppressive regimes that seek to curtail our liberties, curtail our fundamental rights. It's very important that we get the support of everybody for this protest because it's against the tyrannical rule that's across all universities in India and also because we've stood up against the administration that's also the faculty. So if this falls through, all the students who have stood up for their right are going to be in very deep trouble. To receive instant updates on all videos from The Wire, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Pay to support independent journalism. Click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay.